we've come to Tewkesbury in Gloucestershire for the final shoot in the Breeden Open series. It's proving to be a popular event, and you can see why. The setting's lovely, the ground is smart and well kept, and the shoot's well run. There's even some tasty sausages and burgers cooking up on the barbecue at the clubhouse. What's remarkable about this shooting ground, though, is it belongs to a school, Breeden School. It's in the school grounds alongside the rugby pitches, and the shoot is set up and run by the pupils themselves. Oh, this is how not to do it. <laughs> TSC is brought to you with support from Sabati Guns from Range Ride, CCI Clays, Yield It's Guns, Ely Cartridges, Browning Guns, Bowman Traps, Breeden School, and Charles Stanley Wealth Management. The boys and girls really appreciate the opportunity to choose shooting as a sport. Here's Georgie Watkins. I just enjoy it. It's just so much fun to just be able to like break clays and just have a nice time. I just find it really good fun and it's probably my favourite thing to do at the moment. Yeah, I've met lots of really nice people through shooting and made some good friends. And there's lots of really, really nice people in the shooting industry. This is Mitchell Brooker-Smith, who captains the prep team. They've been very successful recently. Uh, it's, it's going well. Um, we've, we've won quite a few things in the prep category in the boys. And I can honestly say I'm quite proud of them, really, because at the beginning of the year, I thought, how are we, how are we going to do this year? Are we going to come third, second, or are we going to come a bit, come, are we going to come a bit lower? But then that really surprised me when I heard our names, Breed and Prep Boys. And I was like, oh, really us? Oh, all right, then we'll take this. <laughs> but yeah, so I think we've done, we've done really well. Will Smith is another pupil who chose to take up shooting when he came to Breeden. This is my first year at Breeden. I'm really enjoying it, especially the shooting side of it. We, we train on Thursdays for about three hours and we, we get coached on each stand individually. And so then we do group, at the end we have a competition just to, for fun. I've been doing stand, um, some helping on stands. I've done, and unloaded some few cartridges, and um, I filled up a couple of traps today. It's good because you're working together. You're 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 just you're not on your own, and you're you're making friends as you're doing it, and you're just just having fun. I made loads of friends through shooting, not just in school. I've got lots of friends from shooting out of school now. But I've got a lot of friends in school that do shooting. And now there's a girls team too. Here's girls captain Olivia Lowe. Well, we've tried the TSC course, but uh, we had a new girl, Flora, who only had just started. It was her second time shooting at the TSC. So we really want to try and win something like the TSC girls team things. But we're going to try. Together. Tom Howe from the Oxford Gun Company is in charge of running the shooting at Breeden, and he's proud of what the pupils have achieved. Yeah, it makes me incredibly proud to see them. You know, they've come out of themselves, shooting has brought them out of themselves in this while that I've had them, you know, I get them once a week for a couple of hours, and it's lovely to see them mature into good young adults and people that I would be proud to put into competitions, especially in the shooting arena. So back to the shoot and once they've completed their round the shooters are tucking into the sausages and burgers cooked up by Anthony Bonus from Buckbury Butchers. Turns out he's a former breeding pupil himself. I'm an old breeding pupil from a farming family. Uh, we've got a, a local pub with the Hunters Inn at Longdon. I've also got uh, Buckbury Butchers which is based there. Uh, David Florent who organises the shooting come to see me and asked if I'd like to sponsor the shooting. And for that, we do all the, the catering for the events, provide the sausages and burgers for the breakfasts. Um, so yeah, we've done this season for them. We make all our own product. We use the best, cut, finest cuts of pork, loins of pork. We don't put too much fat in, which makes a real nice lean sausage. Our burgers, we use good, good uh, beef trim, with a special ingredient that we put in that nobody knows. Uh, to make our nice tasty burgers. With all the scores in, there's a surprise result. 
The overall winner of the four shoots in the series is 13-year-old Ben Rimmer. He collects the top prize of a semi-auto shotgun. I'm very pleased as it's my first gun that I've ever won and really my first big prize that I've won. So I've been shooting for about six months. Um, I, don't, I don't shoot school, but I'm looking to join Breeden in September and uh, hopefully start shooting a bit more then. Two months ago, I joined the academy and that's really where it progressed from. It's been a great day and a great series. A credit to the Breeden pupils who've worked so hard to set up and run the events and to the school itself for having the vision to give its pupils the opportunity to learn shooting. And as Mitchell explains, they learn a lot more than just how to hit targets. I think when you work down at the shooting ground and open shoot, it teaches you how to be, how to be responsible, how to be safe around machinery. It teaches you how to probably run a business properly. So I would have said that's something that can really, really help you in life. They get dumped in together at the start of the year. They learn how to talk to people, how to talk to different people. They are learning an awful lot of discipline. Uh, you know, the school provides this fantastic facility, but it's not to be taken for granted in any way, shape or form. So they know that and they understand that and they must work towards making it better and improving it every year for the next generation of breeding shooters, even if they're leaving, because they want to leave a legacy here. You know, they want to leave the school in better shape than when they came to it. And that is just a massive thing for me.